What happens when a greedy caterpillar eats a ton of garbage? Find out as we tell the tale of Munchy Chuck, a very hungry caterpillar. Before we start the story, let's see if you can like this video and subscribe to our channel. All before the time runs out. Are you ready? Are you set? Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Once upon a time, in a dump just beyond the edge of your town, lived Munchy Chuck, the most humongous caterpillar the world had ever seen. You could say he was the hulk of the insect world, but instead of smashing things, he had a talent for eating all sorts of junk, trash, and anything that usually goes down the drain. Munchy Chuck wasn't an ordinary caterpillar. He loved being crazy, and most of all, he loved all things that were super, duper, wind-in-your-pants, stinky. His favorite feast included rotten bananas, squishy tomatoes, and moldy pizza crusts. He'd wriggle and jiggle his way through heaps of garbage, sniffing and snorting and gobbling up everything in sight. One fine morning, Munchy Chuck the Caterpillar woke up with an even bigger appetite than usual. He was ready for an adventure, a trashy, zany adventure. He started his day with a breakfast of soggy cereal, old sock fluff, and expired milk. Yum! The milk is so chunky it's practically cheese, he exclaimed, laughing as he slurped it down. Munchy Chuck's journey took him through piles of discarded clothes. He tried on a pair of enormous spotty underpants, twirling around and shouting, Look at me, I'm a caterpillar superhero. He eventually wiggled his way into a pair of old rain boots, and Jiggle danced his way down the street shouting, Munchy Chuck, Munchy Chuck, Munchy Chuck. As he continued on his trashy adventure, Munchy Chuck stumbled upon a treasure trove of garbage. To him, it was like finding gold at the end of the rainbow. Munchy Chuck couldn't resist doing yet another dance called the Toilet Tango and singing a song that went something like, flush it down, swirl it round, make a splashy water sound, as he skated around the inside of a dirty old discarded toilet. Munchy Chuck's antics caught the attention of a group of flies who joined in the fun. Before we find out what happens in the end, make sure to click like on this video and subscribe to our channel. It really, really helps us to keep making storytime stories for you for free. And use the comment section below to tell us which storytime stories you want us to do next. Now let's watch to the end of the story. They formed a fly choir and sang along to Munchy Chuck's tunes about stinky socks, toilet tangos, and burping contests. With his belly full and spirits high, Munchy Chuck the Caterpillar decided to have a feast at the local garbage dump. He found a towering mountain of discarded toys, and he climbed right to the very, very top. Then, without warning, he jumped, yelling, Munchy Chuck conquered the toy mountain! And he slid down the other side, creating a mini avalanche of toys. Then he found a giant, old, inflatable beach ball. He playfully bounced on it, sending bits of trash flying through the air like confetti. Munchy Chuck shouted, I'm the trash king of the world. Munchy Chuck's adventure had taken him to new heights, but it was time for him to rest. And he had a very unusual feeling he had never had before. He found a cozy nook inside a gigantic licorice tree, where, for some reason he didn't quite understand, he spun a cocoon. In his cocoon, Chuck went through an epic transformation, when he emerged, he was a giant sparkling butterfly with wings that shimmered like a disco ball. He was Cosmic Chuck, the carnival butterfly, spreading joy and laughter throughout the world. He soared into the sky, waving to all the friends he had made during his adventures and wondered what fun he would have next. Let us know in the comments what you think Munchy Chuck got up to and maybe, just maybe, you will be right. And that's the end of our story. Click like on the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you are always up to date with our new content. Have a wonderful story of a day, afternoon, and nighttime.